Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake forecast video covering New Zealand and also the Australian region for February 2024. This video is exclusive content for subscribers of the SolarWatcher.net and QuakeWatcher.com websites. We now look at the important astronomical events for the month. We have Mercury reaching Aphelion on February 2nd. The Mars-Moon conjunction will be taking place on the 8th, just two days prior to the lunar perigee on the 10th. The Moon-Saturn and Moon-Jupiter conjunctions will take place on the 11th and 15th of February. The important planetary line on the 22nd, where Venus will conjoin Mars. Then we have the lunar apogee on the 25th. And important planetary alignments on the 28th, Mercury will be in conjunction with Earth and Sun, and Saturn will also be in conjunction with Earth and Sun on the same day. The important peaks in orientation for the month of February. Lunar influence with declinations on the 6th and 19th. We have lunar apogee and lunar perigee on the 28th and 10th of the month. And the very important solar elongations are taking place on the 7th and 22nd of the month. We look at the important lunar aspects taking place for the month of February. We are looking for simultaneous interactions, and we get that a few times this month. February 8, we get three conjunctions. Moon Mars, Moon Pluto, and Moon Mercury conjunctions taking place within 16 hours. The important Moon Jupiter conjunction will be taking place at mid-month on the 15th. Then we get a series of connections on the 22nd and 24th, where we have oppositions. Moon Venus, Moon Mars on the 22nd within nine minutes of each other. And on the 24th, the Moon Mercury, Moon Saturn oppositions will be taking place within 16 hours of each other on the 24th of the month. We're now looking at the exact overhead longitudinal position of the Moon at the time of the lunar perigee taking place on February 10. Note that the overhead signature of the Moon is focused over Central and South America, which may be an indication of a strong shake the first half of the month for this location. Then noting the lunar apogee taking place on February 25th. This time, the western side of the Pacific Ocean could be at risk for strong shakes towards the end of the month. Areas of interest definitely will be the South Pacific Islands and stretching down towards New Zealand. And also, if we move up further north, Kuril Islands and also Japan could be at risk for an aftershock towards the end of the month as well. We're now looking at the important lunar declinations taking place on the 6th and 19th of the month. The first lunar declination taking place the first week of the month has a very strong overhead signature focus over North America which may be indicative of a strong shake when you combine this into the lunar perigee. And the 19th of February's lunar declination has a very strong profile, again, focused over the South Pacific Ocean and also New Zealand. So the New Zealand mainland could be at risk for a strong shake towards the end of the month, specifically due to the lunar apogee and the planetary alignment information, as well as the important lunar declination. Now look at the important Moon-Jupiter conjunction. It'll be taking place at mid-month, February 15. Now the overall Jupiter influence will be not as strong as it normally would when we get the alignments with Moon, Jupiter and Earth. So the Moon, Jupiter conjunction won't be as strong in the month, but there should be strong shakes nevertheless for the South Pacific Ocean due to the influence at mid-month. We're now looking at the important lunar perigee information. Know that the month of February represents the Moon's fourth closest approach to the Earth for the year. So it will be considered by some as a weak supermoon, although the month of March will be the supermoon and it will be a significant one. So the months of February and March could be significant in terms of strong earthquakes, especially towards the end of the month of February. We're now looking at the important planetary alignment information for the month. We note that we have seven geocentric planetary alignments during the month of February. However, the first half of the month, we have the Pluto influence and they will be quite weak. The second half of the month is significant and potentially the last week of the month as we get four geocentric planetary alignments or conjunctions where Venus will conjoin Mars on the 22nd. Then we get a threefold alignment on the 28th. The Sun will conjoin Mercury, Mercury will conjoin Saturn, and Sun will conjoin Saturn on the same day, or within 13 hours of each other. So the February 28 and 29 time frame should be highly potent in terms of celestial influences. And now the forecast for the New Zealand mainland will begin on February 4, where there's good data and analysis indicating a potential strong earthquake for central New Zealand, specifically the areas in and around Cook Strait. Other areas of interest will be Wellington, Seddon, or potentially near Nelson, for this potential 4.8 magnitude event. Now moving ahead to the next date, and that is February 10. This time we get strong harmonic data that indicates a potential strong to moderate shake for the North Island, New Zealand. Areas of interest will be Gisborne, Hawke's Bay, or just off the East Cape up north near the Bay of Plenty. These will be the areas of focus on the date of the lunar perigee for a potential 4.7 magnitude earthquake. And then moving after mid-month, February 17, we'll be starting to see stronger energies focus over the New Zealand mainland, which may see much stronger shakes registered over 5 magnitude. 
Again, the Cook Strait region would be at risk for a strong shake, potentially a 5.1 magnitude. And this is just two days prior to the lunar declination. Other areas of interest will be Blenheim, Wellington or near Seddon with this potential 5.1 magnitude earthquake. Another strong shake could be registered on February 22nd. This time the South Island of New Zealand could be at risk for a potential 4.9 magnitude earthquake. Areas of interest definitely will be Christchurch, Pegasus Bay, Rolleston or stretching in towards Kaikoury or Cheviot region with this potential 4.9 magnitude earthquake. It is worth noting that Venus will be conjoining Mars on this day. Now moving ahead to the most significant time frame potentially for 2024. I'm concerned of a major earthquake, February 28 or 29, and potentially early March. And this is due to the Earth-Mercury-Sun planetary alignment and significant harmonic data over the Hope Fault. I'm concerned that the Hope Fault could be at risk for a strong earthquake around Ichiboni, Lewis Pass and Hamner Strings. This will be the main areas of focus, and the concern is for a 6.5 to 7 magnitude earthquake towards the end of February. Not only do we have the Mercury-Earth-Sun planetary alignment to consider on February 28, it's also closely clustered with the Venus square Uranus aspect, which is significant, and also the supermoon, which is taking place just 12 days after the important planetary alignment. As we see in 2024, we get 12 days of separation between three of these aspects. And note the previous earthquakes with similar aspects, the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in 2016, 7.6 magnitude earthquake in 2011 in the Comatic Islands, the 2011 Christchurch earthquake, 6.1 magnitude, and the Dusky Sound earthquake in 2009, in the South Island, 7.8 magnitude. So these are significant earthquakes all having the same correlation and we get that within 12 days of separation in 2024. In summary, the month of February could be quite significant in terms of earthquakes for the New Zealand mainland. And we should see an escalation in earthquake magnitudes just after mid-month, February 16, stretching right through February into early March. So it's definitely a time frame to watch and monitor the month of February and early March. Now moving across the Tasman and the forecast for the Australian region for February 2024. Now on paper this does appear to be an above average month for earthquakes for the Australian mainland, potentially the strongest shakes on the east coast. Queensland should see a few rare shakes at the beginning and the end of the month, as well as Tasmania and Victoria could see moderate to strong shakes. But overall it should be a fairly active month for earthquakes for Australia. I've now isolated three regions of note for the Australian mainland which should see its strongest shakes. And the standout period definitely February 26, where the forecast suggests a potential 5.2 magnitude earthquake for West Australia. Other areas of note would be February 12, a 4 magnitude earthquake for Tennant Creek, Northern Territory. And February 7, a 3.7 magnitude earthquake could be possible for South Australia around the Flinders Ranges. These will be the key areas of focus for February for the Australian mainland. And it concludes this volcano and earthquake forecast video covering New Zealand and also the Australian region for February 2024. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net and quakewatcher.com. There will be more information for members and subscribers as well as website newsletters. Thanks for watching.